Indiana has a few standout programs. But like any state school, the biggest negatives involve huge classes and a tough time getting personal attention. Freshman year, most of your classes are big lecture halls. My biggest lecture hall last year was like 300 kids, I think, for my human sexuality class. I don't even know half my teachers on a personal level. The TAs usually take care of everything. They want you to learn. If you're willing to learn and go to their office hours, and you're willing to put forth any effort. On the upside, Indiana doesn't push you into a major. Your mind can roam free for two years before committing. When you're ready to declare, choose one of 10 specialized schools. Music and business being the most prestigious. If you're in the music school, you'll be doing a lot of time studying and practicing. The students spend all day at the Musical Arts Center. I'm there from 11.30 to 5.45 every day, taking class and rehearsals. It's kind of like its own world in the campus. Everyone pretty much knows each other because it's a small school. There's people there that were like writing symphonies from other countries, and they're here at IU, and you know, probably like the best tuba player in the world. IU's Kelly Business School is consistently ranked among the top 10 in the country. The business school, of course, is just top of the nation, so that's what initially drew me here. It's just very, very competitive to get into it. It's a tough program. There's a lot of opportunities you can do through the business school. You can go anywhere you want. Now, if business isn't your bag and you can't play an instrument, then how about studying up on sex? We have the Kinsey Institute, and it's actually one of the bigger and well-known research departments in human sexuality. Alfred Kinsley did his human sexuality research here, and it developed into one of the largest foreign libraries. But it doesn't just stop with Dr. Kinsey. One of the benefits of Indiana's size is that the school has any major you can imagine. And the workload is manageable. The workload's not terrible. You just have to have a really good time management, and you'll get by perfectly fine. Thank <laughs> you.